Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergy. Following a confusing 24 hour live stream full of ridiculous antics, our questions have finally been answered. Partially. We've learned a bit about the new Fallout game called Fallout 76, and I'm far too excited to not talk about it. So let's go over what we know from what we've seen thus far and maybe hypothesize a wee bit. Okay, a lot. If you enjoy this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out our video about the new Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu games. But before you do that, get ready, it's time to talk about Fallout 76. So, Fallout 76, what on earth could it be? We don't know a whole lot yet. On May 29th, there was a 24 hour live stream of a Vault Boy bobblehead with people going on screen from time to time doing random things. Following the stream, we received a vague trailer that showed us in a vault, Vault 76, preparing for a party with Take Me Home Country Roads playing in the background, which sounds great and could indicate that the game will be set in West Virginia. We know from the lore that Vault 76 was meant to open 20 years or so after the war, as opposed to roughly 200 years after like Fallout 3 and 4. We even saw the year 2102 on a Pip-Boy in the trailer, which pretty much confirms that it will take place well before the events of past games. This means we'll be seeing the beginnings of the new post-apocalyptic world, which is very exciting. But that's not all we know. The game seems to take place in a vault that's pretty well maintained, with balloons everywhere because there's a party. Apparently they're celebrating Reclamation Day. Not totally sure what that means yet, but it looks like it's probably the day they leave the vault and reclaim the world. Probably the biggest clue in the video video is a broadcast that says, when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Which definitely supports the idea that they'll be leaving and rebuilding. And before this, people were thinking the new game might be another game using Fallout 4's assets. That was really successful in New Vegas with Fallout 3, and people figured Bethesda would do something similar here. But one significant difference that kind of speaks against the idea that it'll be a New Vegas equivalent is that this game will reportedly involve a multiplayer aspect, which means this will likely be very different from past Fallout games. The previous games have been very much centered on the solo player, even calling attention to the fact by referring to you as the sole survivor, or Lone Wanderer. But in Fallout 76, you won't be alone. You'll be working with or against other players. They haven't gone into detail about this, but there are certainly a lot of predictions that can be made. The fact that this will be multiplayer makes it seem like this will be a completely different game from previous ones. I don't think it'll be an MMORPG or anything, as awesome as that would be. I think it'll be a whole different game mode. But what kind? Well, with the ridiculous popularity of battle royales at the moment, it seems like it could very well be Bethesda's attempt at cashing in on the genre. This could be pretty cool. You could have people battling it out in a vault full of hiding spots and secret weapons. You could even have one character playing as the overseer, kind of like the show director in Darwin Project. They could manipulate the vault, rearrange it, send out monsters. It'd be awesome. It would even make sense canonically, since it's totally believable that one of the vaults would be created as an experiment to see what people do when pitted against each other. Maybe this is the part everyone's invited to. Speaking of monsters, that's another thing. The Fallout franchise already has a huge set of monsters to choose from that they could include in the game. Maybe you'll be tasked with defending your vault from waves of ghouls or fire ants or death claws. And the popularity of the franchise and its characters could help this to compete with the dreaded Fortnite. Assuming Fortnite doesn't accuse Bethesda of copying them, like PUBG is doing with Fortnite right now. With that said, it's even possible that this will be a party style game with a bunch of different mini games similar to Mario Party or even Roblox. This would make a lot of sense. It would make a great vault experiment, kind of like the Netflix show 3%, which, by the way, is a great show that you should watch. Uh, this way, you could play all sorts of games with other players, and there could even be a system that lets players design their own games, whether it be Battle Royale, a murder mystery, or even tower defense. The possibilities are endless, and I think this has a definite chance. We need more party games. However, perhaps the most likely answer comes from some leaks that we just got. Three people claiming to be connected to the project, but remaining anonymous, say that it will be an online survival. RPG similar to DayZ or Rust. They claimed that it was originally going to be a multiplayer version of Fallout 4, but it eventually evolved into something else. According to them, it will have quests, a story, and base building, among other mechanics. Now, this makes a lot of sense given the trailer, especially with the idea of reclaiming and rebuilding, and it would also tie in with the idea of fighting off all the different creatures that we've seen in past games. Now, hopefully it isn't too much like Fallout Shelter, I wasn't a big fan of that game, but this would be pretty neat and would put a new spin on the survival aspect of Fallout. It's even possible.
possible that some of the game modes I mentioned earlier could be included in mods or DLC. I think it'd be a mistake if there was no Battle Royale mode at all, and allowing users to create their own modes seems all but inevitable. That said, these are just anonymous tips. It could be kids messing around, it could be Bethesda trying to throw us off the track. We'll have to wait for E3 to learn more. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. We don't know too much yet for sure, but I think these predictions are pretty good. We'll learn more at E3 and hopefully we'll learn more about Starfield too, so we'll have to try to be patient. In the meantime, check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist for more videos like this one, and let me know if you'd like any other Fallout related videos. I love the series and I would love to talk more about the games. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lepergy with Top 10 Gaming. Later gamers.